Good afternoon. We are continuing with the second series of assertiveness. In this segment, we are going to be looking at the skills that has to do with assertiveness, the importance of assertiveness, and how to improve assertiveness. In the first series, I've been able to explain the meaning of assertiveness, that is expressing your feelings without offending others. So it is necessary for us to be able to take a position. That's the first skills under assertiveness, taking a position. Let people know exactly what you want. Once they're able to know exactly what you want, then it will help whoever that is listening to know where the problem is coming from. Also, you need to state and repeat one's position. You have taken a position, so you must state and you must continue to repeat that position. You must not deviate. Also, taking the offensive if need be. After expressing yourself and they seem not to believe you or agree with you, you can take the offensive so that peace can reign. It also leads to offering a compromise. You can compromise so that peace can reign and at the same time you can move on with your activities. Then refusing further discussion. There is no need for you arguing with them. You have stated exactly what happened and they don't want to believe you. So you don't need to go into any further discussion. Just be at peace so that the management or your teacher can look into the matter. Then if need be, you can walk away from the scene. These are skills necessary in assertiveness. This takes us to the importance of assertiveness. Why is assertiveness necessary in our society today? Number one, it helps to avoid exploitation. You see, they will not see you as if you are trying to exploit your friend. You want to, you know, prove that you are right or prove that you know more than your friend. It helps you to get what you want with respect. You see, when you are able to express assertiveness, you will get what you want with respect. You get what you want while earning your respect. It increases one's self-esteem. It will increase your self-esteem. makes you to be confident in whatever you are doing. It gives a sense of fulfillment. You discover that you are fulfilled. Everything goes well for you. Simply because you have es explained yourself, you have shown your position, and also it will help you to promote your friendship. So when you do this, you will discover that people will appreciate you, they will respect you, and they will, at the same time, believe in you. And this takes us to behaviors that improve assertiveness. How can we improve assertiveness? The first thing you must do that must be in you is that you must be being honest. You must be honest. Exactly what you are talking about, let people understand it. Let them believe you. So you need to be honest. You see, if you are dishonest, trying to manipulate, then people will not understand you and appreciate your assertiveness. But when you are honest, they will believe in you and they will trust you. It also takes us to a proper understanding of one's values and other people's values. You see, when you are showing assertiveness, you know you don't want to offend others. So this will help you that you appreciate your own value at the same time, you are appreciating other people's value. Then you must be ready to speak up for oneself. You must be ready to speak up. You must be ready to say it the way it is. Having a positive self-esteem. You must have self-esteem. You must have that high self-esteem. You must have confidence in yourself. These are behaviors that will improve your assertiveness. Also, use of positive body image and body language. So you use body image, body language to express yourself, 
so that people will really know that truly you know what you want and you know what you are doing. Also, communicating feelings and needs immediately that need arises rather than waiting. You don't need to wait when you are facing a challenge or a problem or somebody says something that is not okay. You don't need to wait. Report to the teacher, say it out so that they can address it at that moment. Possessing good communication skills. You must be the kind of person that should be able to express yourself. Say it exactly the way it is. So you, are, you must have good communication skills. Then development of refusal skills, both verbal refusal skills, saying no emphatically, and non-verbal body language, facial expression, tone of voice. So you must let people know when your yes is yes and when your no is no. Then you keep repeating the message. Take note, we are looking at behaviors that can improve assertiveness. So you keep repeating the message. Say it. Let them know. I don't want this. This is what I'm saying. Let them understand. Then you must set limit and keep to them. You must know when you are to stop and you must know when you need to continue. So with this, we have been able to look at the meaning of assertive, assertiveness. We have seen what assertiveness is not. Also, we have been able to look at different ways people express themselves. That's aggression, passive, passiveness, and manipulation. And we have been able to look at necessary skills needed. Then we have seen the importance and we have also seen how we can improve assertiveness. This will help students to be able to learn well in a very good conducive environment and they will be able to make progress in their studies. That is the essence of taking this to topic in our school. Thank you for listening. Watch out for the next topic.